This is my experience getting the Teensy 3.1 set up with the raw HID example in the Arduino dev environment. I am running uh, Ubuntu 13.10 with a 64-bit chip. If you're watching this in YouTube, I suggest watching it at two times speed as I'll speak rather slowly and take a lot of pauses. First I bought the Teensy 3.1, cost me about $20 plus shipping, and I bought it with pins so that I could put it on a breadboard. I went to this first use page which tells you to plug in the USB into the computer, plug the micro USB into the Arduino. You'll see the first sketch running which just blinks this light on and off. And then you, if you click the button you'll go into half K bootloader mode which I don't completely understand. Uh, but anyways, then you go to this next page and it says that uh, you need the Teensy loader application but Teensy is supported by uh, Teensy Duino which is an update to the Arduino dev environment which will run the loader for you so we go to this link here this is how we get Teensy Duino installed on top of Arduino so first we download this executable I've downloaded it to my downloads directory and I did a chmod on it so it could be executable so you can see now it's highlighted in green then we have to download and extract Arduino, so we go to that link there. I downloaded this 64-bit uh, zipped tarball, and I extracted it in dev Arduino. You can see these are the files you get, and here's the executable. Then the next step is to copy the udev rules, and the link is up at the top here. That'll take you here. Copy that file. I copied it to my downloads directory as 49 TC rules and then I ran the command here to copy that into etc udev rules.d then I ran the installer so we'll see here run the installer and you can see that it's slightly different from the version here this is uh, version 1.18 RC4 as opposed to version 1 and it's for Arduino 1.0.5 as opposed to 1.0 RC1. So we'll hit next. Uh, we have to go to the place where we uh, unzipped Arduino. That's in dev Arduino. You can see when I click on that directory the next button will highlight meaning that Teensy Duino recognizes this as the directory it's looking for. Go through that installation. It walks you through it here and um, I picked all the libraries and at the end this is telling you what you would do to run a sketch and you just hit done. Alright, so Teensy Duino is installed on top of Arduino. So let's run Arduino. I have Arduino in my dev Arduino directory, so we'll run Arduino. And that error that you see is, is normal for me, it still runs. Now we have uh, our raw hit example. First thing we need to do though is we need to go into tools and because we've installed Teensy Duino, it installs some add-ons for Arduino which is stuff for the Teensy board. So we pick the board we have, I have a 3.1. We also need to go and pick the USB type for the raw hit example which is raw hit. Then we need to open the sketch by going to examples and Teensy and USB raw hit basic which is what I have here. There is some C code that goes with this. Uh, you'll have to find the C code. I can't even remember how I found it, but um, you're astute and you will find it. There is a problem with the C code that we download, and it says if you look at uh, HID Linux C that they're using libusb 0.1. I missed that the first time and installed libusb 1.0. Another thing to note is that you need the libusb dev package, not just the regular libusb package. On 13.10 Ubuntu, libusb is already installed and if you try and install it with sudo apt-get install libusb-0.1 it'll tell you it's already installed uh, so you need to install uh, sudo apt-get install libusb-dev and that will give you the header files that you need and then you need to tell the make file where to find those header files I had added this libusb part it wasn't in there in order to find those you do this package-config c flags libs libusb and it'll tell you to add W dash L USB onto your uh, as your C flags and in the make file you just add that to the C flags right there and then you can make that program and once we have that made we'll see we have raw hid test so we will first uh, go into Arduino 
and we I've already verified this and run it but we'll run it again I've already got it loaded and as soon as I plug in the Arduino it's gonna be start sending that data so I'm gonna hold the button down so that it doesn't do anything it says that on the first page and then I'm going to go to this verify if you get a, a thing saying that um, hid raw hid isn't isn't found or whatever it's because you didn't go to tools and then USB type raw hid so you have to do that first and so now I've verified it I'm gonna upload it to my Teensy Duino and you can see that this Teensy loader um, uh, comes up automatically so I can let the button go when it's done uploading and it'll say reboot OK So now if we go to serial monitor we're gonna see that the Teensy is transmitting stuff to the computer on the serial port now we can go to our raw hid test and we can run that and we'll see that raw hid a C program is picking up stuff uh, on USB from the Teensy and if we hit keys we can see that as we hit each key the Teensy is picking up that key and that's it that's running the raw hid example with the Teensy 3.1 on Ubuntu 1310 on a 64-bit machine uh, I had a few bumps along the way um, I hope that helps